Which two of these audio interfaces wears the crown in 2020? What's going on YouTube? Welcome to the Granite Geek Show. I'm your host Chris Grant Jr. And today we've got a head-to-head -head match with the M-Audio Air 1924 audio interface and the Focusrite Scarlett Solo second generation audio interface. Now, of course, the Focusrite series of audio interfaces is the best selling in the world right now, but is it all just talk? In this video, we're going to be comparing audio quality for both voiceover and vocals. We're gonna go in depth with the feature set of both interfaces, and then, of course, I'm gonna give my opinion at the end of the video. So without further ado, hit the like button, subscribe, and click the bell so that you don't miss more awesome tech and video game videos. It's the Granite Geek Show. Okay, first off, both of these audio interfaces are targeted at that kind of budget market where you want something that's high quality, studio quality even, but you don't need all those inputs and outputs if you're running a small operation, say for music or YouTube or voiceover, etc. Okay, so starting off with the Focusrite Scarlett Solo first generation, we've got two inputs and two outputs, one mic in, as well as one instrument in, as well as a headphone jack. Then on the back of the device, you have your RCA outputs for your studio monitors. One thing to note, with this interface is that there is a single volume knob that controls both the output for the headphones and your studio monitors. So you'll need to cut power to one or unplug the other if you just wanna hear from one. Say for instance, you're turning up your studio monitors but you don't wanna blow out your headphones if you're really cranking that volume and vice versa. As far as input controls, the Focusrite has those famous halo light input readers that go from green to red, depending on your input signal, letting you know when you're clipping. So it's a nice feature to have, although I am starting to prefer those meters so I can get just a little bit more information without looking at my DAW. Now, both of these interfaces recorded up to 192K, so this is not really gonna be applicable for most people, but it's still there if you need that extra bit of quality. Now, when it comes to size comparison, which is gonna be really important depending on what you do, the M-Audio Air is much bigger and more unwieldy than the Focusrite Scarlett. So if you're gonna be mobile most of the time, that's probably the better route to go as far as just the physical nature of the device. It has its inputs on the front of the device, making it better suited in a situation where you're sitting with your laptop and you've got your microphone right in front of you or your guitar right in front of you as you're playing. The M-Audio, on the other hand, has some inputs and outputs on the back of the device, assuming you're gonna be snaking a cable behind your desktop. Now, moving on to the quick overview of the M-Audio Air, it's got a much more suited for desktop aesthetic. It's got a big main volume control knob, which talks in the same desktop design language as other audio interfaces, such as the Apollo Twin. At the top right, you've got your dedicated headphone volume control, which, like we said, is not on the focus right, as well as your USB to direct monitoring control so this is in a situation where you would want zero latency while playing directly into your interface on the top left we have your controls for your mic input and your instrument input and right below that we've got two stacks of leds for metering so now we're going to get into the direct comparisons first we're going to have the focus right then we're going to have the m audio we've got a voice over sample as well as a vocal sample so we're going to play those for you and then i'm going to talk about my personal preference now, as far as the microphone, we'll be using the Stellar X2. Now, typically I record my music on a Manly, but I figured the Stellar X2 would be a microphone that more people had their hands on, especially YouTubers, voiceover artists, etc. This is me speaking into the Stellar X2 microphone using the Focusrite Scarlett Solo first generation. I always love the way you just believe what people say, but honey, this ain't what I had in mind. When I said that I was yours, you said that you were mine and Love made me blissfully blind Guess I didn't read the signs and now we off the road, we ran out of time This is me speaking into the Stellar X2 microphone going into the M-Audio 192.4 Honey, this ain't what I had in mind When I said that I was yours, you said that you were mine and Love made me blissfully blind Guess I didn't read the signs And now we off the road We ran out of time 
Okay, so I'm super curious to hear what you thought. Now let's get into my personal preference of the two devices. Now, after using both of these devices extensively, my choice ended up being the M Audio Air, and I'll explain why. With the Focusrite, of course, it's going to deliver those iconic preamps, and so if that's the sound that you're looking for, by all means, go for that. But the M Audio with their crystal preamps, they've got a different goal here to be as transparent as possible, giving you the direct sound of your gear, your microphones, etc. So if you're looking for a more unaltered Altered sound kind of a clean slate with which to add your own effects EQs compressors etc then I would honestly say the crystal preamps on the M audio air are the way to go so that's ultimately why I ended up picking the M audio air as my daily driver also I don't need the portability as I am home doing YouTube doing school doing music etc and I'm not using it on the go also a killer feature for me and this isn't really a big deal but the dedicated headphone jack volume control um, it, it was just very tedious unplugging and powering off different studio headphones and monitors etc in order to hear just one of them so the winner for me is the m audio air 1924 let me know what you think in the comments down below i'd love to hear your thoughts on the samples i'm also open to suggestions so if you want to see a different comparison let me know down below like the video and subscribe click the bell as well so you don't miss a beat thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one peace